I can say these tender years, our children live in a magical world. Uh, their reality and thinking is abstract and uh, it takes time for it to develop. We wanted to give them a foundation, a holistic pre-academic African curriculum. We just knew we had to do it. It was to me not even really should we, shouldn't we? No, we got to do it. We have to do it. And of course, I will say that some of it was a little bit of selfishness because in addition to being members of Wose Church, we were parents and we wanted for our children something very positive, very beautiful, very celebratory of our Africanness. I don't want to just look at building African institutions and romanticizing. It comes with a lot of struggle, with a lot of sometimes conflict, financial issues, but I think that the base, the base, right coming from the sanctuary and all of our prayer warriors has been able to keep Ile Omode together. And for when, when we are praying together, when we are eating together, working together, and trying to, even with conflict, is look at people with spiritual eyes and look at the good in how we have been able to keep this institution going. People have worked 10 hours a day. People have donated money out of their pockets. People work, persons have worked there for no salary and maybe no salary today, I don't know. But so that it has been a struggle. It hasn't been easy, but it still exists. And when I'm thinking 35 years of an institution, I can see Ile Omade being a Histo a historical black college and university in Oakland. Our own personal children, all of our children have had measures of success. The public school reminded me of the value of Ile on the day. Our children are suffering in public school. Every day I look at these little boys and girls and think, oh my God, you need Ile on the day. I just feel so strongly that the humanity that we wanted to see in our community, in our children, was a very important part. And the way we got students to understand that was the spirituality that undergirds the Nguzo Saba. So uh, to me, it, it, it was uh, essential in order to teach our students to love themselves and to love the others who look like them. It had to be based in some deep spirituality. And this is what we have to keep, you know, we are a community where we communal, where it's a village. And I just wanted to be with people who were interested in bringing about an independent school. We were just the spark. You guys are the flame and it's continuing. And I wish you all the success and all the love and all the things that you need to be able to keep this school going.